when we talk about modularization, uh, most of us would still think of uh, modularization of a computer, of a cell phone, and you can make it into different pieces, and you can have the disk drive being made in one place, you have memory chips made in another place, you have the processors made and the chassis, or you think about apparel, you can have the, the uh, buttons made, or the cottons and the fabrics and so on. But the limit is boundless. If you think about uh, today, some of the products uh, like steel manufacturing, automobile manufacturing, are still heavily located in a single location. Pharmaceutical is still more, more integral, we call it integral as opposed to modular, modularized. I believe that the technology advancement will be such that even for those products that used to be very difficult to be decomposed into modular structures will be there. And the limit is not just the technical constraint being conquered, but it's also the ability to coordinate using information. And some of the, the very difficult to make tasks can be dematerialized. So a lot of uh, the times we thought about this physical step, having to make these products. Today, there are some steps that you do not have to involve any physical processes or people, and it becomes just a movement of information. Uh, and when that happened, I think we'll see a lot much bigger kind of a globalization of the value chain uh, that we cannot see today.